Hey guys, Dr. Hurl2 here, and today I am back with episode 2 of Kit PvP Plugin Coding Tutorials. I don't know what I'm going to call the series, but whatever, because I'm doing this right after I recorded the first one. So, first you're going to want to open up your project, and you're wanna, going to want to open up the class, which is under the SRC, which is under the package, and you want to click YouTube Kits. And see, we already have our extends Java plugin. And right, let me go. Wait, no. Now we have to like do our command label, and that basically like it tells you how you can like make a command. I'm very bad at explaining things. Whoops, wrong folder. Main. Okay. So this is just my plugin that I'm coding. So okay. So I'm just gonna copy this and yeah, it's a public boolean. So I'm just gonna copy it in. But here we have our public boolean. I'll just show this to you guys. Right here. Public boolean on command command you guys can just like I'll put I'll actually put the public boolean in the description of this video so that you guys can just copy and paste it and player player equals player center and I'm gonna add a return statement whenever there's a red line under something that means that there's an error and you're gonna have to debug it or look for the error so after that we're gonna type if command label dot equals ignore case you could I just you just use equals ignore case and you're gonna type your kit name so I'm just gonna name it PVP enter I already have it okay if that's saying if someone types PVP then it will give them the PVP kit so basically that's it with that, that's really simple. So now, after that, you're gonna want to type. Uh, let me go look here. If you want to add permissions for it, you can. I'll show you guys how to do that here. So if you want to add it so only certain people can have the PVP kit, you're gonna type if player dot has permission and um parentheses I think these are I don't know you're gonna want to type um, let's do YouTube kits yt kits dot pvp and enter so then you'll give whoever you want to have the pvp kit you'll give them that permission and then at the end we'll have to add an else statement telling them if they don't have or telling them if they don't have permission then it'll say you do not have permission to use this kit or whatever and right here we're gonna actually type player dot send message chat color dot whatever color I'm gonna use gold so I'm gonna hit my arrow key whoops check color dot gold plus space parentheses again and whatever you want to type here so I'm going to type you have received the PVP kit So basically when they type slash pvp it'll tell them that they will receive the pvp kit and then it will give them the pvp kit items and then next we're going to want to type player dot get inventory dot clear and colon you're going to want to have a colon after all this stuff right here and then next or semicolon next we're going to type player or I should probably explain player dot get inventory dot clear that basically 
if they have anything in their inventory, it will clear their inventory before they get the kit. So then nothing interferes with the kit. So next you're going to want to type player.getInventory.addItem new space item stack and oh parentheses whoops <laughs> and you're going to want to do that and material and you're going to type dot whatever you want your pvp kit or whatever sword you want your pvp kit to have or weapon so i'm going to type diamond underscore sword and i'm going to press enter to import it and there we go and see it says there's an error under item stack so we're going to hover over it and make sure you import it from org.bucket everything you're going to want to import is from org.bucket you never import from net.minecraft on a kit pvp plugin at least so import from org.bucket and that will import it right up here that's all our imports so far chat color yeah, make sure you import check color and Im make sure you import material and all this stuff. And you're going to have to import some stuff in the boolean that I'll put in the description. And next, I'll show you guys... Er, next. Or, er, basically, I should tell you what this does. So this will put the diamond sword in the one slot of their inventory. Next, we're going to want to type player dot get inventory dot add item. Oh wait, no, that's my bad. That set helmet new item stack material dot iron or whatever you want your player to have. So make sure it's a helmet though, obviously, because you're setting a helmet. So basically player dot get inventory dot set helmet. And what did I there's an extra parentheses right there. Er why do I keep getting these mixed up? I don't know. Okay, so now we're gonna type player or that will add the helmet. That actually that'll set the helmet on the player. It won't add the helmet, it'll set it. Like it'll set it in the helmet slot. So next we're gonna add just a chest plate and that's set chest plate new item stack material dot iron underscore excuse me chest plate and that is it for that I won't add any soups or anything today so I'm just gonna add a helmet chest plate and diamond sword to make it simple and then next you're gonna wanna put a bracket and then another bracket and type else Actually, let's see what the error is here. Uh, let's delete that. Um, do my oh okay. So you see these if statements? They actually have to have a bracket after them. You cannot have semicolon after if statements. That's the number one rule in Java. So after both of my if statements, I'm gonna add a colon. Okay. And under here, I'm going to put one of you. What's the error here? Insert. Okay, I have to insert another one. You have to insert a lot of brackets at the end. Everything that's red will basically... Okay, I'm not going to add anything yet. But everything that's red will means that it's an error. So you have to hover over it and see what the error is. So next, our else statement basically states if the player does not have the permission youtube kits dot pvp if it does not have that permission then we're gonna type player dot send message chat color dot red plus space that plus then you, in here you're gonna wanna type the message so i'm gonna type um you do not have perms to use this kit and after that you're going to want to put a semicolon and I'm going to add one of these and hopefully that will remove the error yep. and I just have to delete this token what? 
Okay, maybe I do have to add another return statement. So whenever that pops up, just add a return statement. I know it's not very convenient. You'll get a lot of return statements down here. So, yeah. And now we are going to make a plugin.yml, which will I'll explain right here. So basically, you want to open this up, right click, right click your um, project, new file and you're gonna type want to type in the file name plugin dot yml make sure it's exactly like this and again I'll leave the plugin dot yml in the description for you guys because the plugin dot yml is actually confusing so right here I'm just gonna copy and paste it so name whatever you want your plugin to be named so I'm gonna name it YouTube kits this does this can be whatever you want version whatever version it is 1.0 and right here your main class your main class is the class that says extends Java plugin so I'm going to actually whoops I'm just gonna minus that out okay wait what did I not do that what the heck whoops hold on Okay, so I'm gonna X out of this. No. Okay, so YouTube Kits version 1.0, and your main class is your class that ha that says extends Java plugin. So you're gonna have to type right here, me dot Doctor Turtle Two or whatever your name is. Dot what your package is. So see my package right here is YouTube Kits. So you're gonna type YouTube Kits. This is case sensitive, so you have to type it case sensitive. And then dot and then whatever your class is. So my class right here is also YouTube Kits. So it'll be me dot YouTube Kits dot YouTube Kits right there. And author, whatever your name is, description, whatever you want to name your um or describe your plugin so I'm going to take YouTube kits for YouTube <laughs> and do not I will remove this depend that's for my plugin and commands you're going to want to press enter and one two three spaces but I guess you'll be copying this so it doesn't really matter but so commands you're going to type three spaces and then you're going to look at your command label and mine is PVP case sensitive so you're going to type P lowercase v capital P colon and then file save and then you're gonna X out of that and now we will export the plugin and run it and see if it's working so I'm gonna right click oh make sure you press save all up here that's every time before you want to export your plugin you're gonna want to press save all that's what I do so you're gonna want to right click YouTube kits click export and you're gonna want to click under Java it'll be like this and you're gonna want to click Java jar file next and you're gonna want to click this so then all so then your class path your project and your plugin.yml are all checked along with your YouTube kits and then you're gonna want to go to your plugins folder in your um I'm gonna actually delete this because that'll interfere. So you're gonna want to go to your plugins folder and you're gonna name this whatever you want. So I'm gonna name it YouTube Kits and make sure it's a .jar .zip. I think it automatically is, but yep. Press save and you're gonna want to click finish or and then look right here, see if it's saved under YouTube Kits, which mine is. And you're gonna want to click finish. Make sure it's under your plugins folder in your server and you want to click finish jar creation failed just ignore that I think this happens a lot when you first create your plugin.yml it actually did not fail so you want to click finish and overwrite your plugin and then you're going to want to go to your server and we're gonna run the server so I'm going to open up Minecraft as my server is starting up. 
and we're gonna go test out our plugin. So what should happen is if I have the permission YouTube kits, which I will because I'm opt, it will send me a message saying you have received the PvP kit and it will give me a diamond sword and it'll set an iron helmet and an iron chest plate. So going to connect to my server after Minecraft opens. This is a mod that I have installed. It's called MCC. I made a review on it actually on my channel. So I'm gonna want to connect to my server. And we're gonna type this is just a spawn my friend made for me. We're gonna type such PL and look right there. Our plugin YouTube kits is installed. So now I'm just gonna clear my inventory. Oh wait no, I should give my such give Dr. Turtle to dirt. So now I have dirt. So remember how we said that it'll clear our inventory if anything is in it? So I'm gonna type slash PvP and it cleared the dirt. It gave me an iron chest plate, an iron helmet, and a diamond sword, and it says you have received the PvP kit. So that means our plugin worked. So now I'm going to deop myself. Or slash deop Dr. Turtle 2. And I am no longer OP, so I should no longer have permission to use the kit unless I were to give myself the permission. So if I type slash PvP, it says you do not have perms to use this kit. So it looks like our plugin worked how we wanted it to. I hope this taught you guys how to create a simple PvP standard or standard PvP kit. And next episode, I think I'll do enchantments. Yeah, I think I'll do enchantments next. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye.